zebra shark has given birth to live offspring asexually after being separated from her mate for almost three years. Scientists were astounded, and so are we. And we're gonna tell you everything you need to know right now on IO. If you guys want to send us fan mail or cheese, our PO box is written in the description of this video. In all our videos, actually. All right, let me introduce you to Leone, the first shark on record to switch from mating with a male to conceiving and giving birth to shark pups asexually. This shark don't need no man, and neither do you. Okay, maybe you do if you want to get preggers. Humans still need sperm to get pregnant. Unfortunately. Leone lives in an Australian aquarium and she was separated from her long term mate, whom she'd been with since 2006 to 2012. After having several litters with him, they put her in a separate tank in the aquarium because they were trying to scale back their breeding program. Well, nature has a funny way of, well, doing exactly what you don't want it to do. Leone still laid eggs, much the way a chicken lays eggs, and doesn't need a rooster to lay them. The difference is Leone's eggs hatched into pups. This particular birth, observed in vertebrae like sharks and reptiles, is nicknamed a virgin birth. Even though she totally wasn't a virgin, because she like had the male shark beforehand, but I'm not being picky. It allows animals like these to reproduce during periods of isolation. So the thing that makes this particular case special is that it's the first time that a female shark has been observed reproducing asexually after all also mating with a male in the past. Therefore, Leone actually switched her reproductive strategy from sexual to asexual. There have been two other instances like this, but not a shark. Both an eagle ray and a boa constrictor have also managed to switch their reproductive strategy. So far, this has not been observed in the wild, however. All of these instances occurred in captivity. So how is this even possible? Do scientists have an explanation? Well, one is sperm storage. Sharks have been known to store sperm from male sharks, and they can do it for an extended period of time, too. This may be because in the wild, sometimes male and female sharks don't come into contact with each other for a breeding season, so the females reproduce asexually until they can reproduce normally with a male. The other explanation is asexual reproduction, but scientists are unsure how this is possible because, well, she switched from sexual to asexual. One disadvantage to reproducing asexually is that the gene pool is not as diverse. Genetic diversity is very important to ensure the species is adapting to its environment. The less diverse the gene pool, the more likely you'll see diseases and deformations in offspring. Okay guys, it's that part of the video where I'm going to respond to some of your comments. Robert Simpson said, a potato? I'd classify myself as a fairy unicorn potato. Robert, you can classify yourself as any kind of potato that you want. Okay guys, if you could classify yourself as a potato, what kind of potato would you be? Let me know down below. Athena Moonlight said, I love all of you. I just like coming here for info. But how do you guys react when you first hear about stuff? It depends on the story, but for this one, for example, I was like super excited. I could not wait to write it. Other stories, like stories about Donald Trump, we are less excited to write. But news is news, and I think ultimately, as long as you're learning, you should always be open to new ideas and information. Steven Sovyak said, Dobre means good in Ukrainian. I believe you are referring to my last name. Yes, it also means good in Romanian and pretty much every Eastern European language, I think. And Russian. Okay guys, that is all for now. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Charlie Chaplin, subscribe to IO, and I'll see you in another video.